It will be a big week full of what may be contentious confirmation hearings for some of Donald Trump's cabinet picks, including the hearing for Education Secretary nominee Bessie DeVos. 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Alvin is heading to Washington to watch all of this as it develops. And Rick, what can we expect? Well, Brian, I think what you can expect is for Democrats to continue to push for delays where they can. Right now, they are complaining that many of the selections made by Trump have not been properly vetted. Republicans say they intend to go full speed ahead and they have a busy agenda laid out. Tomorrow morning, one of the hot hearings will start at 9.30. That's when Republican Senator Jeff Sessions will be in front of the Judiciary Committee as they consider him for Attorney General. Tomorrow afternoon, John Kelly will be questioned about what he would do as Homeland Security Secretary. Then on Wednesday, a flurry of activity. This will be a big one. Rex Tillerson been tapped as Secretary of State. His hearing is at 9 a.m. That's going to be another potentially controversial choice. Another is Republican Mike Pompeo, who will face questions about becoming the head of the CIA. With all of that going on at the same time, that's when West Michigan's Betsy DeVos will have a hearing to discuss her nomination as Education Secretary. Elaine Chow, former cabinet member, and by the way, the wife of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, will be questioned about becoming Transportation Secretary. And on Thursday, James Mattis will testify about what he would do as Defense Secretary. Ben Carson will answer questions about becoming Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, and finally, Wilbur Ross will also have a hearing on his appointment as Commerce Secretary. Now, obviously, we're going to be watching the DeVos hearing very closely, but still keeping an eye on all of these nominees to see if President Trump will get confirmation votes on the very day he's sworn in. That's what they want to do. President Obama did that. Or if the formation of this new administration, <coughs> pardon me, could be stretched out for weeks. Again, it just takes 51 votes, but you got to get to the votes. And if you call for procedural debates, it could take a long mm -hmm. time. It's going to be really interesting because there's a lot going on. At the same time, I, I'm at these hearings across the street. They're preparing the west front of the Capitol for the inauguration right. across the street uh, at the other end of the Capitol. Uh, they're trying to undo the Affordable Care Act. I mean, this is all happening simultaneously. So it's a busy week in Washington. Absolutely. That's for sure. All right. We'll be there. Thank yeah. you, Rick. Thanks.